Oh, oh hey, oh, chat. Oh. Hi, chat. Please oh. Sean Murray just dropped this this trailer just to his fucking Twitter. Oh, really? What are we do it out it's here. Not, yeah. Stand by. Come on. <laughs> I've been standing by. I've been waiting. Trying to get that true reaction shit. Up oh, here it is. Here we go. Every atom is procedural. I've heard that before. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, oh. Gravity. Third person also, and yeah. obviously other players, Waters. which is Third what person. they they did. That part was announced. <clears throat> the multiplayer part was announced. Oh. Let me retweet a Rooney. Oh damn. Love hanging out with friends in space, so. Absolutely. Oh shit, go. that's a Gek. Can you play a Gek? I think you can play a Gek, Whoa. that's that shit. <laughs> yes! I'm here about that. <laughs> oh boy. I'm here for playing as a Gek. Oh my god, Gek, gek are the play. little lizard gek people. Play. So Gek. Gek play. Okay, we can't say Gek play any more times. <laughs> Is there just third person in general? Okay, I you guess. hit that tree. Be careful. Yeah. Um, Third person is an interesting. Oh, and rings on planets. Is that new? That feels new. That's always really fun. That's always really fun. <laughs> Whoa! That looks good. That, it looks like they're gonna shoot their geck friend. Though. I don't know. <laughs> All right, come over here, little geck friend. <laughs> <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't right. That ain't right. A word? A word? Oh, A oh, word? Shit. Oh, we There's got robots. Yes. You got next. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mex and Gex. Mex and Gex. Mex and Gex. <laughs> uh, so the Mex and Gex expansion. The Gex. The Gex are like a yeah, very interesting people. species, like lore wise. I played thirty hours in this game. Did you? Oh yeah. wow. Okay. Um, that was yeah. That was for me. That was that that trailer was for me. Was that it? I, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Are they gonna talk about it? It says please stand by. It does say maybe please stand by. Previously, they would release a, the last trailer that they released for like Atlas Rises and Foundation had like rock star trailer voice. Oh, yeah. Where it was like, in No in Man's Sky, sky Atlas thing. Rises, <laughs> you can drive a car now or wow. whatever. Wow, yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? Yeah, yeah. good voice. You know the. Yeah, that good voice. Yeah, exactly. Um, Hey, hi, hot mic mornings. We came in super hot because I really. Whoa! You get moral support! Moral support from Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Noodle. Noodle, which I think are hamsters. Ms. Noodle! Yeah. Where are they? I don't they know. Oh, they're there. sleeping. Yeah. I see them sleeping. Good. Is that a corn? Do they have a corn? That they looks have a like corn it could corner. Be corn. Oh, that is corn. <laughs> corner. They have a corn corner. A corner. <laughs> Your mic is. Uh. Um, Look, they're stirring. They are stirring. I'm happy that I'm happy that the No Man's Sky team has moral support in the form of hamsters. No <laughs> joke, pets are the, the greatest Gerbils? moral support. Are those hamsters? What are those? It's really hard to tell because it just looks, looks like, like a hamsters. fuzzy little thing. In it a, truly is. In a okay, yeah. they just toss me the uh, new battery pack. Wait, no, I, oh, oh, I got you over there. Yeah. Is this better? It's the noodles. They might be brother and sister, actually, because that's a Miz, that a Miz so we don't know. You're right. right. Yeah. You're right. We don't know their relationship. Um, Hello. Hi. Test, test, test. Yeah. I love animals. I made scrambled eggs for breakfast. Oh, good. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Scrambled Am I back? eggs with Am a little I bit of still up in the air? Oh, at the boy. End. It's delicious. Okay, I'm good. Uh, awesome. Yeah, so the, the scrambled eggs sound good. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> it's just the, this is, when I learned like to uh, like test live audio, for some reason, the person who was teaching me was like, ask them what they had to, for breakfast, because yeah, then like, it's I've usually a thing. Yeah, because yeah, so. they actually will actually talk. Uh, they'll tell you a little a, tiny mini story. Right, exactly. Um, we can come back just to us, and if this changes from moral support to something else, we can or come back to that. Or if they start moving. That's or if thing. we start to see movement. Like exactly. If they start running on that wheel. Exactly. Eating their corn corner. Totally. You know, totally. anything like that. Um, so yeah, normally they do that trailer style that's like, in fact, they did just release one of those. Actually, can I just send you a thing to watch the last? For people who like, have not kept up with No Man's Sky, um, can I just send you another trailer? Probably? Um, they released a thing that was like, yo, if you haven't paid attention to this game, here's what this game is now. Mm. Should I just send mm -hmm. it to you or to Lobby One? Send it to Lobby One. Oh, 
Oh, the noodles. I do want to see the noodles, though. Me a too. Bit better, because like I can they'll see where out. they are. They'll come out. Maybe they'll come out later. I wonder if they're sleepy. Oh, you want me to put that in the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sorry. Sleepy little noodles. Here, let me. How long? Let me yep. Is there a way to look up how long you've played a game on PlayStation? No, and it's I really wish. frustrating because I did the same thing, right? Which is my the bulk the bulk of my mm, at this point it's not the bulk, but because I played a bunch on PC also, right? Mm -hmm. So I played I played like forty or fifty hours of No Man's Sky pre day one patch. Yeah, uh, because New York broke because places places in New York broke street date. Right, and Sony was being very weird about. Code, right. unsurprisingly, yeah. given the state of that game at launch, right. and given the way that I, I think I think it was pretty obvious how that game would be received once you started playing it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but then the um, God, this ominous hum is really ominous. Yeah. I hope nothing bad happens to the noodles. They're not going to oh, hurt no. the noodles. Don't, Don't hurt, hurt the hurt hamsters. The noodles. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I spent like 30, 30 to 50 hours. Somewhere like, I just played that game that week. I liked it a lot. I'm yeah. that person. Um, but the day one patch hit. I think I started the new game there. But then PC hit, and I was like, I'm just going to start over in PC. Mm. So I have another 30 hours there. So I have probably like 80 hours, all said. Nice. But I've gone back to try to check what my PS4 time is. Right. Like, I don't think there's anywhere where you, where you can do that. That'd be really useful. I wish we got Company Hamsters New Sabbath. Oh Those are God. the yeah, Hello same. Games Company Hamsters. Yeah. Um, I ended up playing that game uh, on release. Like, it was all I did for the next week. Motorcycles. Are, oh, no, middle, middle, <laughs> middle. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a robot? I am not a robot. Natalie is doing a uh, oh, robot I screen. Do this. You wrote a, the wrong thing. <laughs> um, I played about thirty hours of it when it first came yeah. out. You know, like the yeah, week yeah, it yeah. came out, I I hated the first couple of hours. And then I loved like the next ten. Right. And then I just so you hated the bit where it's just like I can't do anything because I'm fucking yeah, dying all the time. Yeah, because you have an inventory of four things. Right. And it, right. It sucks. Yeah. And you're just dying all the time. And then I loved like the next ten hours. You know, after yeah. the first, yeah. you know, one or two. The experience of like getting off your first planet, yeah, going to the next few. Yeah, flying to new planets because I I hit a great planet that had mm -hmm. tons of little nice. dinosaur looking nice. things. Right. Like I I made a video that was like, what if this was Pokemon <laughs> oh, Snap? Oh, that's Look cool. At that. I guess they're bringing up. Fan Dinosaurs. screenshots over on the yeah. the thing. That's cute. That's a good interactive way to like. It's interesting because it, that's a community that has since become like it's not as big as it once was. Yeah. Uh, obviously at launch, right. but the people who are there know what it is and like it. It's it's weirdly become the game I think it would have been if it hadn't gotten all the press. It, had gotten. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, I definitely understand. Um, like, I'm so a glad kind we of went sleeper hit with like a very with a really dedicated fan base. Fan base. Exactly. Yeah. When you read the articles that like Gita writes over at Kotaku oh, about yeah. she's, the she's wars following. and about the weird like there was just one about <laughs> about a cafe that was supposed to be like neutral ground in the weird like so there has always been asynchronous multiplayer in the game in the sense that you could you were all sharing the server and data of like who what each planet is named or where bases are and stuff like that. But the they're obviously rolling on actual multiplayer now, and the thing one of the things that you can do to that they've done in the past to simulate war in the multiplayer group is to colonize different parts of the galaxy in ways that are like no we're putting our markers down and trying to like mm -hmm. enclose you. Mm -hmm. But one of the things you like explicitly are supposed to not do is destroy people's bases by right. which you can do by bugging not bugging the game out, but. By basically dropping and dropping a bunch of bases on a planet that already has a base on it, so that it erases whatever the original base was, and uh. someone did that to a someone who's like shitty and who's like uses like race, racial slurs, racist mm. slurs, slurs and shit mm. on their yep. uh, on their channel, did that to this place that was like the No Man's Sky Cafe. Like everyone can come here and hang out, and it's cool and chill. And the community blew up at this person, obviously. Good. Yeah. Which yeah. Was, That's and he great. was like, but I'm playing an evil emperor. And like, fuck off. No. no. You're corny. <laughs> Stop like, it. Nope. God damn. Um, <laughs> you're not playing anymore. Yeah, let's show, let's show, there was a video that came out a couple days ago that was like, here's the stuff that we added to this game over the last, like, six or two years, I guess. 
just as like a catch up. Oh yeah, it feels like six years. It does feel like six years. <laughs> this is like one of the first things I covered when I came here. Cause it was two that's years right, ago. that's right. It was two years ago almost exactly. But much has already changed since so vehicles is a big one. A regenerated universe allows star systems to each have their own wealth. Gotta have trading. Gotta have trading. <laughs> That's my big thing. I actually got kind of into the trading even in the original version. Right, it got way yeah. better because each system oh, got specific things, like got good. specific like qualities. Uh, I only ever got the first of these. I only got the this car, which is fun. Oh, that's a cool car. But there's a third one that's like a little quick, skippy, jumpy yeah. thing. That's oh, that sounds cool. cool. I never got any of the vehicles. Creative. Yeah, so they also <laughs> added they also added new gameplay modes, obviously. Base building is really fun. Nice. I hope that they expand on some of this stuff because it's neat. But that's, it's, a gek. that's a gek. That's a gek. Yeah. That's a gek. Right, they added, so they added this whole mission system, which I also hope that they continue to develop. See, that um, I, I probably would have liked. The story the stuff is actually, stuff. the story stuff specifically is really good. Nice, like, yeah. It's like 30 hours long. It's a full campaign, like, yeah. um, that will be there when people go back to next, obviously. And I think, sure. I hope anyway, because um, I think it's genuinely really good. I might go back to this game. Next week, you know, that update's gonna be oh, free. Oh, I have my PS4 so. today. So. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Gotta put something on Gotta it. Gotta put something on it. You know? <laughs> uh, right, they let you fight in the ground, um, and you can own freighters. It's also the other big one. That's cool, too. Um, and then we should go back and maybe re-watch that next trailer now that I've yeah, calmed down. Yeah, do we have down. a link to it? Uh, we, at one point, there's a video I'd like to share Please? today. After we can look at after new I stuff finish. first. It's, no, it's a No Man's Sky oh, video. okay, good. Yeah. Okay. It's relevant. Okay. I'm how's excited. That, how's that stream going? Which one are you talking about? Uh, just uh, p click on 505 Games and see if they put it there. Wait, 505 is publishing? Yeah, it's publishing next. Isn't that weird? Because it's coming to Xbox, right? So it's not. So Interesting. It's, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, All right, 505. Good job. Click on videos. You know. Let's see, is it up there? Yes, it is. Uh, click on the one to the left. There you go. I could tell you some fifteen views. Fucking stories about, oh, yeah, about days 505? at the five hundred five E three booth. Oh, I bet. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is again. We we already watched this once, but now that we let's watch it one more time. <clears throat> <sighs> Diglett says, "I thought you said five hundred five is publishing knack and was very <laughs> excited." Somniferous gamer, you're not exactly. <laughs> It's more of a Pokemon thing than a Jurassic Park thing. Do you want to um, X out the ad? Oh yes, <laughs> Natalie. Natalie, can you can you X out the ad? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Third person looks like a little janky, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, it might I just. Really, I want to know. I want to know if I can play all the different species. You want to know what all the butts look like? I gotta know what the Gek butt looks <laughs> like. What is the Gek butt? All right, can we go back? Can I be this gamer? Can I be the, the No Man's Sky Theory gamer? Can we just go back? Yeah. Like, like, on that frame? <laughs> I'm serious. Can we do that? Oh, I'm an idiot. Natalie? Oh, did you not bring it up? Okay, we're gonna start this trailer over again. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna work out either way. It's it is. I wanted right. to see it it's again right. anyway. That's all right. <laughs> this you're fine. This happens. We gotta get like a thing where we can control the that computer from here, like a wireless oh, mouse yeah. setup. That would be good. That'd be cool. Swimming looks good. Like it again looks a little janky. I'm good with that. Yeah. I just wanna know what the geck butt is. Yeah. I really want to know if I can be one of those like big Klingon-y people or the, oh. or like the robot people from um, what are the Saga. robot people? Korvax? Yeah, from Saga. Yeah. That's exactly what they look like yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> mm. Oh, well, that God. was an interesting <laughs> transition right <Yeah>. there. <laughs> it's all right. This looks cool. 
Yeah. I like this little capsule like this, spaceship. Kind yeah, of it's thing. a good spaceship. I'm also just like into the feeling of like. It's interesting. One of the things that was always interesting about this game was like, hey, I'm spending all this time buying ships and upgrading my ship. Yeah. But I don't get to see it unless I'm outside of it. Right. So right, yeah. it's cool to. And this shot just reminds me so much of like Mass Effect. Stuff yes, extremely, to me. extremely. That um, camera angle. That, that camera sort of, angle. Yeah. That like washed out red and like dusty place. Yeah. And then I guess you can have Sentinel friends now. Because those, See, are, those cool. are the Sentinels who would chase you at like the highest water Right, level. when you really pissed off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like the little robot cam on the shoulder also. I don't know if you yeah. caught that. And the ghost. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, the ghost. <laughs> the ghost exactly. So it's your ghost. <laughs> um, all right. Do you want to send Natalie your video? Natalie, um, if you just look for... Oh, it should be Zam. So Zam. Uh, no Man's Sky Pokemon Snap. Mm -hmm. I made, uh, uh, you might say like a, a visual. Yeah, I think that's it. <clears throat> this is yours. This is, your this is me. This is my work. All right, thank you for presenting your work to the okay. class. All right. <laughs> uh, we have a new video here from. This is a new video. From this is what Daniel if Riendo. this game was uh, No Man's Snap. I'm excited to see it. All no right. Man's Snap. I probably watched this at the time. But let's I think see you probably did. There's sound effects. I think his head is. This is you doing the voices too, obviously. <laughs> oh, God, the legs. Look at the back legs on that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, yeah, Shizzle Bob. It's Shizzle Bob. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. I love it. This is only like a minute and a half long. That's so a big know. one. You didn't see that. Yeah, many see, I like got that a really at, good planet, so. At, at launch, you didn't see that many bombs. It's a Bulbasaur! <laughs> Is that the song Bongasaur? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a dong dong. dong. It's a big another, dong dong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wait, a jingle it. Oh, that is a jingle it. It's new. Obviously. Yeah. Who's that no man sky? <laughs> People thought it was a growling llama Pokemon, but it's actually... It's a gal pal. That's a gal pal. <laughs> Is that a gal pal? Rhino Rick! <laughs> classic Pokemon. <laughs> Rhino Rick, class, mwah, classic Pokemon. That was it. That was the thing I did. Yeah. I got a good planet that was like all dinosaurs, yeah. and I was just like, what, this would be That's fun. Very totally. Good. Just, very good fun spread. fact, we those are stop. all actual N64 sound effects. From oh, the wow. from, yeah, nice work. Pokemon from Pokemon Snap. Snap. Look at These you, are all sound effects. Rad. I should have made them myself. But yeah, that was very good. That was <laughs> that very was good. More that was very authentic. good. Thank you. Rhino Rick is my favorite Gen One Pokemon. Too, yeah, so, Rhino Rick. You know. I love Gal Pal. You know, Gal Pal. Gal Pal's pretty good. Too. Gal Pal, yeah. I like. She was cute. Jingle Litz is all right. You know. Jingle Litz is all right. Dong Dong. Dong Dong. There dong, were a dong. lot of Dong Dongs in that. There were a lot of Dong yeah. Dongs. More yeah. Dong Dongs than girl than Gal Pals. Than Gal Pals. Gal Pal was a hard. You know, was hard one to find. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it comes. The so apples come from apple trees, like yeah. you know. Yeah. So I don't even it, know why I asked. it all adds up, doesn't it? Well, that was probably the most fun I had with No Man's Sky. I was making that really stupid video. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Like I actually genuinely think that's been one of the problems <clears throat> with that game since launch. And again, I say this to someone who loves that game. Yeah. Is that it doesn't encourage that sort of. You got to make your own fun. You have to make your own yeah. fun. Yes. And if you're a player who's good with that, or you have to not be looking for what you're looking for in many other game experiences, right? right? Like, right. when I sit down to play Octopath Traveler, I'm not in the same mindset that I'm in when I'm sitting down to play No Man's Sky. Right. right. I can't be, unless unless I'm just grinding or something right. in Octopath, but even then, like, it's just about, like, I'm gonna go into this place, and I'm gonna, it's, it's like, my, my, the description of it that I still hold by is like, it's like a really good Twitter bot. No Man's Sky. Yeah, that's totally understandable. And I actually sort of, I feel like I would have liked it better if there were fewer systems. Mm, at some yes. at some point I had that yes. really in me where it was like, I actually really like the chill out effect yeah. of seeing beautiful places and I wish it was, 
you know, I got really sick of the, oh, finding the same shit that on every planet like, thing. I need to get... Stuff I need to, to get these three things, to repair, yeah, like, like, or like fuel and blah blah blah. Sure. And I was like, I just want this to be a weird photography right. sim right. kind right. of thing, or all I'm doing is taking pretty pictures, mm-hmm. or of course finding goofy creatures and taking Aww. pictures. But like, yeah, it was One almost of the like things that they added well, along the way things, was an upgrade you could get for your suit or your scanner that made you get a ton of money for photos or for, oh, for that's scanning, cool. scanning Yeah, see creatures. that, that makes and sense. And that was awesome, because it was like, yeah. I can just focus in on this, and like, a lot of money compared to what it was. Not like sure. enough to buy a freighter or whatever off the, right. you know, but like, it made it viable, so where if you, what you wanted to do was like, go down to a planet, Scan all the animals, like explore a little bit, maybe do a little bit of mining for your basic necessities. Right. You could have enough money to then get what you need to like get to another system. See that? Right. Or, which was a, yeah. which was a good improvement. Because that's that's the fun I had in this game was looking at weird shit. Right. And I right. genuinely really love that enough to do to play it for thirty hours or right. so. Right. Right. Like right. it just it was the, all the other stuff that really dragged it down for me. Totally. And I got to a point where I was like, no, I want to keep playing, and I started like listening to podcasts, like heavy, intense, mm-hmm. like history right. podcasts, to try to be like, <laughs> That's good. no, I'm something. doing something, <laughs> yeah. and also enjoying this game. And then I just right. got to a point where I was like, oh, the grind just kind of killed me a little bit. Um, but I'm very interested in this new stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm very interested to maybe dig back in and be like, I, because I like making my own fun in games. Totally. That's the sort of thing I am oriented towards doing. Like, I obviously enjoy that sort of thing, so. You know, uh, has anyone messed around with the creative mode? Very little. Um, How does that work as far as, like, are you still in the same no, servers? No, I think, I think the creative server is its own server. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but I would wager that. Because right. otherwise, it, would, it feels like it would make it so that one person or a small group of people could just be like, all right, I'm just taking over everything. Right. Like, I'm just going to play my flags everywhere. everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the I'm, I'm going step by step through this trailer during those quick those quick. Oh, you're doing turns. your frame by frame. I'm doing my, I'm <laughs> right doing my frame by frame. <laughs> Important things. This Gek does a wave at one point. Oh, there's Gek, a Gek wave. This is, there's obviously emotes. Uh, there's an underwater base which looks cool. Yeah, that does look cool. That looks cool. Um, there's like cool looking planets. Like that's not new, I guess. But you know, that's that's the stuff I care about. Important yeah, stuff. Hell yeah. What um, I want to know is if you can still do the the dashing glitch. Me too. Because that cause that dashing saved glitch. that game for me. I uh, at like uh, hour ten when I was like, this is starting to get I a little repetitive. Yeah. I gotta I wanted to like speed up this part of it of getting place to place and right. picking the things up that I need to get to the next place. Yeah. And like I saw someone like talk about that and then like everything change. Mm-hmm. You can get, it's... it's do you move. explain what this is? Yeah. So basically what happens is you you do a melee attack and you jump at the same, like just after the like forward momentum like kicks in of that like melee and you like hit your jump jet right. and you carry that momentum with you. So you can move much faster than you nice. normally would. And what's really funny is actually when you look at um, like waypoints in the distance, uh, they'll have timers, right? They'll say right. like, this is how long it'll take you on yes. foot. And like that number just like starts ticking down really really fast it's because good. it's not based on like t- like a like a timer. It's based on distance, obviously, even though it mm. looks like a timer. Oh um, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, it's very it's Sounds very useful. Fun. No, yeah. I mean like it it like that's the part of the game that kind of like got a little long in the tooth was Getting gathering the stuff to, place, yeah. to get mm-hmm. to the next place. The thing yeah. that I really wish yeah. they had done maybe is just like once I'm on a planet, don't make it. Don't make me spend fuel to just dro- fly somewhere else on the planet. Like if I'm landing, because the yeah. thing that it would cost you was like anytime you took off, it cost you fuel. Right. And I was like, I just want to go check out this thing on my fucking map. Please let me just go do that. Right. Uh, so I eventually got really picky. Or eventually, the thing I ended up doing is like, I don't need to see everything on this planet. Like, yeah. I, I, it's gonna be more of this. The thing to go do is go look at a different planet, soak in its biomes and its like proc gen stuff, and then just deal with that. You know. And that's like, okay, sure. Like that's yeah. that ended up being being all right by me. Um, I have a question about space. Yeah, what's and your question, Austin? Being a space explorer, if you <laughs> lived in a world like No Man's Sky, where there were like this, so it's not Star Trek, okay. right? Okay. I just because uh, I think we all have different answers if we could join the Federation, right? And like live in that world because it's it, a utopia. Because it's utopia or like, semi utopia, right? There, yeah. There's it's post scarcity at the very least, right? Yeah. Um, there's lots of opportunity for like. Just like living your very best fucking life. Yeah. 
But if you lived in like the No Man's Sky style or the Elite style universe of like, hey, there's lots of solo space captains who have their own little ships, and like maybe you can hang out with friends, and like you could be a trader or a pirate or a, a space scientist, or you can, or you can hang out like maybe stuff that you couldn't do as a player, but that exists clearly in the universe. Like you, you could hang out in a bar and be a space bartender, or like be the scientist back at base. Like, what would your space life be like? I, well... Anyone. This is an open, I, I would place. explore a lot. I would do a lot of running. I would take a lot of pictures, and mm -hmm. I would be a space medic. I would want to be, nice. like, a roving space medic. Like, hey, good. is there a job somewhere? Like, somebody needs some help? Yes. Like, I could run around, and I could, like, do things on my own time, and then be, like, you know, per diem space medic who can go around and fix people. What are your, what are your rates like? Yeah, they're very reasonable. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I mean, like, okay, is this, like, is this a world where I need a lot of money, or can I get it from other things? Because I would like I to be a volunteer space medic. Right, like, is this a situation where, by day, you are busy collecting the resources you need to, like... Right. I don't know, probably not, right? I mean, that's, like, one of the other things that's, like, underlying the stuff in No Man's Sky is it's a pristine world waiting for your your you to, like, come pickaxe it and take yeah. whatever you need from it. Yeah. Um, it is definitely <laughs> a world up. that is not... That is not <laughs> right, yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I'd prefer to be a volunteer space medic. Sure, sure. Maybe, like, you charge for... rich people. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's my it. Praxis. That's a good one. Yes, it's a sliding scale. And if you can't it's afford it, scale. it's free. It's, it's free. Well, all right, I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. There we go. We did it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd probably want to be some sort of pilot and spend most of the time off planet. Like really? Okay. Just probably end up doing like freighter jobs. You know, freighter Just, like, jobs. Being... Ooh, that's like a space trucker. Yeah, basically space Hollywood. trucker. Be yeah. careful. Nice. <laughs> right. Uh, I would alien. like I would like start off I've being like alien. I wanna be <laughs> I know what happens to space truckers. <laughs> yeah, but um that seems fun. Yeah. Like things as much as like things on planets can be pretty, it also feels just as dangerous, if not more. Yeah, there are animals <laughs> out right? there. Or just like biomes that are like right. toxic and right. stuff and like right. I get spaces, but like I don't know, something about being in a, in a contained space, I feel like I'd feel more comfortable. Sure, this than is like my ship. Also, you get like, a ship. Right, right? yeah, that's, the, that's my cool. ship. It's your yeah. ship. <laughs> Have you played any Elite Dangerous at all? No, I mean, I I really, yeah, no, I haven't, but I... It's good it's, as a space truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might be your thing. Might be your thing. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Um, it no. does sound like something I'd get into. You're in outer right. space. What are you doing? <laughs> um, I have two. Okay. One... I'm uh, a a like uh, owner of like a of a space bar. Nice. And What's it called? Do you know? It's called. Thanks, Nixon. Oh God, I'm bad at this. It's fine. Listen, this is first step about um, owning a space bar. You have to name Bongasaur. it. Bongasaur. <laughs> yeah, Bongasaur. Bongasaur. <laughs> Bongasaur's bar. Bottle of sword bar. Yeah. Okay. So, um, is there a big bottle Yeah. At the and people top? just call it the bongo, bongo they bar. They call it the bongo bar. Yeah. I like it. When they come. You guys going down, down to bongo bar after work? Yeah. 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 Obviously. Definitely. Sounds good. Obviously. Yeah. You have to drop off a shipment anyway. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah. Get, you know. Yeah. And then I, I might see if there's somebody's gonna fall. Some you know, they're drunk. They're gonna. People yeah. always get into fights at bongo bar. And the gravity's a little different, so they're not used to it. They fall. They're drunk. You know. I wish. I wonder. Don't fuck around with that stuff. Because there weren't any like gravity changes in the mm -hmm. sky, right? That would be really I'm not cool. Misremembering that. There weren't any planets where like, oh, you're just floating here, basically. They I think there was like a, a thing that said, oh, it's slightly more right, gravity or something right, right, this, right. but it didn't actually okay. change it. Mm. So what's your second Sorry. space job? My second space job would be space wizard. Nice. So nice. basically, uh -huh. nice, peaceful, quiet planet. Yeah. Very like like Naturey, lots of life and animals, and so basically, I'd be like this, like, like, like the good witch. Okay. But like, so space wizard, lead a cult probably, but like <laughs> okay. in a good Just way. A turn. Okay. Good. In, a, All right. in a good way of like a cult of like people who like want to take care of this like planet in like gotcha. the sense that like, a space like very druid. like. Like very like communal living, yeah, sort of vibe okay. where we're all like. But you're the wizard, so yeah, there's I'm still the a leader. hierarchy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's, Let's be, be clear. clear. Let's be clear. I got gotcha. you. Um, 
But the the hierarchy is only because I am like the philosopher king. Okay, oh, that's <laughs> all. Oh, yeah, no, so I'm, I, got I am you. just the heavy is the head, Natalie. <laughs> heavy is the head that wears the crown. I get you. It's fine. I am teaching, you know, the ways of taking care of the animals and mm -hmm. and the alien animals and everything. So, do you also do magic, or is wizard a misnomer? Yeah, I was about to ask. <laughs> um, no, we do magic because the way that we like. It is like magically infused mm. like <laughs> land. And so what we like if we choose to like use anything from the land, like there has to be this sort of like magic process of like restoration. And so there's like all, there's like magic energy flowing through this planet and and like we are part of it. And so in order to keep the cohesiveness, we do so magic. it's the force? To do magic. Yeah. yeah. Is it, like, yeah. Okay, is it yeah. like the force? Is it like the force or is it like magic from like... Like li life energy? Like, like Harry Potter or is it like... No, it's not Harry Potter. It's like... It's not, it's not Harry Potter. I'm Harry thinking Potter, of like a... Like plant witches. Like druids. Yeah, yeah. Like, druids. Yeah. I didn't hear you say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. like druid, druid, vibes. druid vibes. Now, druid vibes. never saying the word druid again. They're all plant, plant witches. witches. Plant witches. <laughs> very good. Sorry, like plant very witches. Good. Excuse me, plant witches. We've been over there. There is a huge categorization of possible yes. witches. Some yes. plant witches is absolutely yeah. one. Yeah. And the so. space part about all this is we're in fucking space. You're so. in space. I get it. You're not on Earth. Yeah. Or I guess you could be. You could be. Earth is in space. Right. I mean, yeah. But the whole, I think... <laughs> the the like the plot the underlying plot line is that we have like some really good res magical really, resource. I, I really one hundred percent thought you like the underlying plot is we have some like really good weed. <laughs> <laughs> really good weed. I mean that because that is Cody Bundy is in chat said space weed planet. Yes. Space, yeah, space weed planet. We're there just like the stoner planet. Uh, like, yeah, I got the, I got the picture. Bonasaurus <laughs> bar makes a lot yeah, more sense. Yeah, Bonasaurus bar. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Bonasaurus <laughs> bar is on my uh, on yeah, planet. Yeah, there you go. Planet. Good, good. I didn't tell you what kind of bar it was. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It's so, true. anyway, that's my space Damn. fantasy. Gecknip for days. Yeah, Gecknip oh is for God. real. Really, I want to hang out on this planet. This planet says Come all through, right. just don't try and take any of our resources, because that's where the magic comes in. Okay. All yeah. right, that's fine. Your resources. I'll just bandage up your hurt, and that's fine. Nice. Okay, that's we'll fine. We'll be good. We have we'll magic to do it, but that's fine. I appreciate oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do, like, actually. We don't need, them. We don't need your yeah. bullshit. <laughs> that's yeah. fine. All I'm right. Kidding. I don't know. You Maybe know. I'll just come and... Just come and hang. hang. Just come and hang. Take a load off. You I'll don't just have to hang work. out. You don't have to work when you go there. That's, That's right. Place. This is a place like, where oh, I, I this is relax. a vacation this is for Risa. me. Risa? Yeah. Yeah. This is Risa? Risa. But we I will not. Spell well, that it was out. a sex planet. Oh, right. I mean, you could go on vacation, but everybody was in a robe and was like fucking everybody. You know, so. I just was like, oh, it's a resort. I mean, it is a resort. We will not be colonized by any resorts on. Okay. On yeah, that's planet. probably, on it's planet? probably on best. Planet Weed. On planet Weed. <laughs> planet Weed. God. That's planet Weed live. Wizard. Sorry. God. Um, oh, boy. Anyway. Any other space thoughts bugging y'all lately? Any other feelings about the... the I always have space. Any space Do? movies coming out soon? Space thoughts. Space movies? No, but everyone should go see Sorry to Bother yeah, You. Yeah, I really want to see it real oh, bad. Oh, it's so good. I really want to see wanna it. I want to see that. It's good. It's high on my There's list. some weird, like... Like... Structural movie making things, but like, like those. context wise, it's very good. Mm. All right. I need to see it. Yeah. All right. I watched a lot of scary movies this past weekend because it was Friday the 13th. Oh. Ooh. Good. Um, I watched like three different Friday the 13th movies was because there was like a <laughs> marathon on TV. Good. Yeah. Okay. So the first one I watched was like seven, and then I watched <laughs> two. Right. And then I watched. I don't know. I, I thought like, you meant that movie, movie seven, 7 with yeah. Brad Pitt and oh, Morgan no. Freeman. I was very my confused for a second. My favorite Friday the 13th <laughs> was, movie. Yeah. Jason is wild in that one. <laughs> yeah. um, those movies are wild. Did I thought you when watch... I heard the casting with Morgan Freeman, I wasn't you know, right. sure about that. Yeah. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you see Jason X? Jason X? Or Jason X the space one? What's the space, Jason? I did not get. Is it yeah, just Jason in is space? That? I was no, it might be X. I think it's time. X. I think you're right. I think I'm it's X. I'm gonna put Jason in space and see what Google gives me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's uh, X. 
Face and axe. Could we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is want there, want me to pull up a trailer? Maybe. We've watched a lot of horror movie trailers on here. <laughs> yeah. I just thought. Yeah. Just is search it, for. Is just it scary. There's a Green Band trailer that we can probably get away with watching on here. Okay. <laughs> for some reason, the first thing I thought of when you said Jason X was Latinx. Like what? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me? Jason <laughs> reveals some things about his identity. Yeah. You know. That's it. Uh, uh, are you, you know. To me? Oh, I can do that. Is that a thing I should do? I mean, how? What else are we gonna do? I'm what just, were you gonna do? <laughs> I was just like, hey, it's were on. It's on there. It on your own. Yeah, I was just gonna watch it. I was just gonna watch it over here. Listen, I learned Austin, some things. Austin, if you're gonna, if that's you're not gonna what I heard. Something on your computer, you gotta share it with the class. That's not true at all. Uh, boom. I have not watched this trailer, but I know it's Jason in space. Okay, well, should we thumb through it really quick? I'm already doing that over here okay. behind Let closed doors. You, uh... I don't see any like heads exploding. Okay. I see a lot of bad costumes, which is okay. exciting. Okay, no, okay. that's I have bad. not seen yeah. this movie. I just know it exists. I'm sure Patrick has seen this movie. I'm sure Patrick is mad that we're watching this without him right I now. I think he is. I think he is. All right, we need that sound, too. Yeah, I got you. All right, guys, this is Waited All. So oh, no. Uh, we should make sure they can see it. Very, yes. Get it! Very spooky. Excuse me. Be careful. I did it, finally. If you're scared of your spooky. Yeah, heads up. Jason X, uh, rated R. Strong horror violence language <laughs> and some, some sexuality. sexuality. It's rated R. Uh, yeah, it's not a horror movie. Someone doesn't get killed while having sex. It's true. It's true. I learned that this weekend. <laughs> you just, Watching you movies. just muted it. I'm Watching sorry, movies. Flotaro. Watching a movie. Okay. Come on, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Rated R. You buy it on YouTube, apparently. That's. You can buy it on YouTube. Wow. In the year 2455, on a routine. <laughs> That's too far away. I love this. Is about to discover a life form frozen in time. I love this. Look at those costumes. They're bad. Yes! Yep. Yes! Yes! Yo. Can we watch this? Yes. Waypoint 101. Just buy it on YouTube. Let's go. Sorry, Tactical Tuesdays. Honest to God. I wish we could watch this live. <laughs> Yo. She forgot her line. You know she <laughs> yeah. forgot her fucking line. Hey, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> He's here. <laughs> I think we're finally okay. Chandler. It's not Chandler. <laughs> I was gonna say it's not guy from Seven Eleven. Super not, but. Uh, no, why is he Super Shredder? He's Uber Jason. I'm 100% serious. What are these costumes? Oh my god, no, yeah, that's They're absolutely like, just oh, super shit. Yeah. Oh, this is like a Resident Evil this movie. This is like a Cleopatra <laughs> 2525 movie. Yes, it is. Oh, right, that's Nemesis. That's a real trash can. Oh my player. god, yes. <laughs> yeah, it is also very Nemesis, you're right. That, this is Resident Evil. Yeah. I genuinely wow, want to that. Watch was this. a lot. I don't think he's out there. She forgot our line, too. Why don't you just stick your head out and have a peek? Is okay. that Paul Giamatti? Wait. No, no way. Not Paul Giamatti. <laughs> Hold on a second. Why do you think? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! No, that's Super Mario. Is that, that, <laughs> that's Mario. Actually. Shit. Spoilers for the next Mario game. That's yes. Mario! <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. Uh, I'm Weasel09 <laughs> says Jason fights a sex robot in this movie. So okay. I have to watch this movie. Great. So did someone <laughs> on Jason like on Jason? Did someone see Alien and was like, let's do that one? Let's Both do that with Jason. Jason? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Two thousand one. This looks like it's from was like nineteen eighty seven. This was straight to theaters. No, this was a No way. This went to theaters. No, went to theaters? Yes, it did. In the year of our Lord two thousand one. <laughs> Theatrical release. The yes. Hey, I think I would know. That's when I was That's born. That's when you were born. Right. <laughs> right. True. Right. <laughs> that was the year you were born. I think I would know my birth year's movie releases. One, in three, theaters. four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is also the tenth Jason movie. That's why. Oh. So it really it makes sense. It's both Jason 10 and Jason and X, because X. X is like the future. Because it's space. Because it's space. I, um, 
Go ahead. I really want to see this. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think that the new suit looks very cool. I'm glad Jason has finally got a new outfit. Mm -hmm. He's been rocking that hockey mask since three. Is this not a hockey mask? He I, has it's a like hockey a mask, hockey and then mask. he gets like the. Like, what was that? Oh yeah, he gets that. Yeah. He gets that kind of like a elite, like elite, mo ho hockey mask. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm waking up. <laughs> yep. Good morning. Um. I learned. So much about like the lore of Friday the Thirteenth this past weekend, What'd you which learn? is makes no sense in my brain. I mean, sure, you're not wrong. It's fair. Like What's... the first one, Jason's not even in it until the last right thing. Yeah. Sorry, spoilers for Friday the Thirteenth. We're 13th. gonna spoil. We're gonna briefly spoil some Friday the Thirteenth stuff. So the first one. Yeah. It's Jason's mom. That is the thing. Yeah. And you never see the killer. Mm -hmm. until the end, and then it's like, okay, it's Jason's mom. Yep. And then Jason's mom dies. And then in number two, that's the one I saw the most of, because that was the one that was paying the most attention. That's, it's a <laughs> well-liked one. Jason's mom, let's go to the prom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't, as a Jason rule, never got don't to go to prom. Go to prom with, with your friend or nemesis's <laughs> parent. <laughs> yeah. Good life rule. Yeah, okay. don't do not do that. Uh, second one, Jason doesn't have a hockey mask. Right. He, he just has like a bag. A weird, yeah, it's like a canvas burlap yeah, sack, right? Yeah, it's like right? a sack. He's creepy head. in two. Yeah, he's... Well, what's so strange to me is how much his like face changes like under the mask over the next right. series of... Because in the first one, he's not like... Or in the second one, he's not like rotting. He's just got like... I don't know, a lot of like prosthetics on his face. But he's not like the corpse Jason that you see in Seven. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Seven, through the hockey mask, you can see like his like fleshy teeth. Ugh. Right. Ooh. He eventually gets like worms and what shit. What is there, right? Jason? Yeah, is he undead? He's yes. dead. Yes. He's like a, he's like a, he's like an undead spirit of vengeance or yeah. something, right? Yeah. I mean, the second one straight up has like a weird shrine. Yeah, there's, he has like this weird shrine basically where he has his mom's head. It's gross. On this table, like rotting. Mm. And then he's like taking all the bodies of all the campers he's killed and like like laying them around the, the table. And he has like candles and stuff. Is he and trying to resurrect her? What's he trying to do? I don't know. I think... Is well, he just, like, a force what's of... What's interesting is the girl, the, like, camper girl that, like, gets to live is basically like, Jason, you don't have to do this anymore. Like, your mom is proud of you. Like, your mom is pleased. You don't have to kill any more people. Like, she's happy with what you've got. Good job. So, and he was like, rah! That didn't enough. work? <laughs> more. Yeah, um, I, I, I... It's one of those stories that, like, I think the first one really works. I think the second one really works. And then it does just And like, then SpaceX doesn't work. I mean... <laughs> SpaceX doesn't work. <laughs> well... Well... Jason so Jason X? is Elon Musk. I mean... Uh, you know... It's what you're saying. Has as many fans. Um, <laughs> Chris Vera says, in part nine, Jason goes to hell, has both the Necronomicon and Freddy Krueger's glove, and then obviously Freddy versus Jason just like, boom. Yeah. So if they have the Necronomicon, yeah. does Pinhead show up? No, because Necronomicon... Or Pinhead is, like, Pinhead administering is... hell at this point? I, I don't... Because right, doesn't Pinhead, like... Doesn't he hang out and he's, like, becomes, like, a hell, like... Razor? Well, he's always <laughs> been a hell razor. Uh-huh. But he's, like, a hell, like, man middle manager? I think that's all of those. What are they called? What are the groups... What Aren't is... they called hell Oh, there's a whole no, name for them. they're not called hell razors. Yeah, there's a name for them. I forget what the name is. Pinhead I'm sure somebody has it. No, but there is a special name. Pinhead for goes to space. I must have been to hell is in space. Cenobites. Cenobites. Yeah. Cenobites. 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 Sorry, Cenobites. Cenobites. Aren't they all like middle managers of book. space hell? There's like a specific book, and Patrick talked about it in his agony review actually, where it's huh. like Pinhead ends up being like a middle manager uh, in hell, okay. and like has like politics with other middle oh, managers right. in hell. Yeah, the Cenobites are definitely like politicking all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, but the Necronomicon, I suspect from that from that movie, is the Evil Dead Necronomicon. Oh, right? why did I think it was the the puzzle box? There's like box. a box. That's called what's that called? It's something else, isn't it? 
It's called it's not Puzzle Pandora, Box. The it? Lament Configuration. Yeah, yeah there which we is go. Which is a fucking good. That's a really good. God yeah. damn, that's a good phrase. That first Hellraiser is an insanely good movie. I've not seen like, it it's in actually probably great. 15 years. Yeah, it's um, 12 years probably. Really good. Yeah. As a horror movie. I, I'm not saying it's not problematic I a huge for many reasons. But. With horror movies. It took me until like the end of college before I was like okay with horror movies. And even then, some just, I'm like, no, nah, I can't. Yeah. With that. I don't yeah. like them. Yeah. It's, it's really. I have to be good. in like the exact right environment to watch them at this point. Not had, at this point. I'm better at it now, but. I had to dip from the Babadook. The Babadook oh, really? was the, Babadook the, spook. the that movie freaks me out. after the marathon. Right. And I just had to bail. I was like, spook, spooky. It's spooky. Did you see um, Hereditary? Hereditary? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. That you were cool with, though. Well, I saw that during the day. Okay. Yeah. Mm. It was a Friday the 13th. Yeah. And. Oh, so that was like a little external pressure that it yeah, was Friday the 13th. Yeah, it was like 13th. already late. Right. And we had like been barbecuing and like. And we had been watching a bunch of, and like we had been watching the old campy horror movies all day. Mm-hmm. So those are like not scary. Right, right. And then we're watching like a production, like newer production value. Right, right. And so that, I got to the part, well, I don't want to spoil it. I don't know. I got to the. Be broad about it. What's What type of scene was it? Or like. I mean. Phone call. Something have, about a phone call. I'm not phone? asking you to do charades. I'm saying like, what was the emotional. <laughs> state of that sequence. Scary. Oh, okay. You got to the scary part. <laughs> We're talking about the Babadook? Yes. yes. And there was a phone call. Yeah. See, I was right. I don't remember the phone call. I don't remember That's a phone call. call. It was that movie. It was the first. You're, there's a camera on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was the first. Watched. Knocking, I don't know. Okay. It was like, yeah, it was that. There, part. there was a knock on the door. There was a knock on the door. There was a knock on the door. Oh, okay, I okay. understand. And yeah, then yeah. after uh, the, uh, she'd already tried to do this. She'd already tried to. <laughs> she already tried to. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and then it came back, and it was like. Right. right oh yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. Yes. Okay. All right. That's where I had to bail. Yeah. That movie um, freaked me out too. It freaked it me pretty, out a lot. Pretty scary. But I hear, I don't know. I hear it's worth finishing to the end. Definitely, it's fantastic. I, I think it's one of the do best it, movies. Like like in the daytime with all my blinds open, and I, yeah. I get That's very fair. scared. You see the people bringing up the witch. Did you ever see the witch? Fantastic. No. I like the witch a lot. Fantastic. I think I might like it more than Hereditary, but I, I need to watch them both. I again. don't know. Yeah, I have to, I have to watch, watch the witch again because yeah. Hereditary is so much fresher in my mind. But I loved it. Loved it. I feel like I have become more of a horror fan through life. I always liked horror movies. Obviously, I was scared as a kid and like even as a teenager, but um, I've liked them more and more to the point where I feel like uh, I feel like horror movies are the only truly emotionally honest genre. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the only thing that actually gets at what how horrible and agonizing it is to be a human being. Gotcha. <laughs> and like so, yeah. to fear yeah. death and to fear dismemberment and fear all the things that we, we all fear. I think the stuff like Hereditary, I think Hereditary does that super well. Yeah. Like Hereditary, one of the things that I love about it is how honest it is about like the precarity of familial relationships. Yes. And like working through the ways in which familial relationships are are not as sturdy. The like blood is not thicker than water. Mm-hmm. Except that we all have to fucking sit down at this table and have a meal. Mm-hmm. And it's easier to break those off with strangers than it is with with people who are part of your daily routine. Yeah. Um, and that, like, g- getting to, like, the heart of that, like, actually definitely hit some, like, deep nerves of, like, distrust that I've had with various family members over the years, of, like, deeply irrational distrust. Deeply, sure. deeply irrational, like, you know... I think everyone has had the fear in their life of like, what if this person just decides to kill me right now mm-hmm. or whatever? Like, I'm in a deeply vulnerable. I think part of growing up as a su- for me anyway was a sudden awareness of my vulnerability and the fact that other people also felt, especially as a black dude in America, felt vulnerable around me or were made to feel threatened around me. Yeah. And those mm-hmm. two things in conjunction are were like, are a thing I think horror film gets at well or super doesn't and it's cheesy and oh yeah and like. 
I, I should say like when it's done well. Yeah. Like when yeah, it's yeah. actually done to to what it can do that other things can't do. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you know that that phrase, blood is thicker than water, is actually mm -hmm. blood of the covenant mm. is thicker than water of the womb. Sure. So it's so it's blood. actually the opposite. Of yeah. yeah. The blood yeah, is right, the right, friendship, right. and the water is the is familial. Yeah, familial. biological ties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw that on Tumblr once when I was ten. Shout out to you, Tumblr. <laughs> Thanks, Tumblr. I was a. <laughs> Huge scaredy cat when I was a child, so much so that whenever the movie, the the movie, the music video for Thriller came on, Ooh. I ran screaming out the Aww. room. Yeah, I was. Oh, <laughs> I was not about sure. that. And my my family actually was super into Michael Jackson. There was this VHS we would get from the library that was just a bunch of his music videos. Oh and like I always knew, like after after Bad, they had put. Go. Thr I gotta I gotta get out of the That's room. The, bad <laughs> means bad time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was, <laughs> and I run. As a, as a kid, there was definitely a feeling of like. Like, okay, we're wa if we're watching a horror thing, whether that's Michael Jackson's Thriller or <laughs> yeah, whether that's, or if I'm in a room with a statue of Freddy Krueger, that increases the chance that a horror movie th situation is about to yeah. happen in my yep. life. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Which is not, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no. Like, because in horror movies, the monsters come when the kid is watching cartoons or right. when yeah. hockey is on. <laughs> not, like, when everyone is around, barring the specific ones where it is when people are watching horror movies. <laughs> But like, especially in the '80s style, schlocky stuff, like it was always just like a boxing match is on TV, and in comes e e e e right, exactly, exactly. So, um, but yeah, my my babysitters when I was young used to have a Freddy Krueger mask and glove, like on like display on a shelf because they loved horror movies, and I hated being in that room. I loved mm. those babysitters, but like that one room just had. I was like, no, I can't be in there. I can't fuck around with that. Freddy Krueger is scary. His face is all messed up, and he has a, a knife glove Creepy. hand, and he can go in your dreams. No, I'm never sleeping again. And that's why I still don't ever go to bed. <laughs> and so you don't Freddy go to sleep. Freddy Krueger is going to get in You there. don't go to sleep. He's just going to... Until you get those real bad Attack attacks. my... Right, exactly. <laughs> I guess I have to join up with the Dream Warriors. That's what it is. Do you yeah. know that bit of the Freddy Krueger? I don't know if... Do you, do no, you all know the they're Freddy... freedom fighters. They are the... literally Dream Warriors. That's yeah. like the name of the fourth one. Third one? Yeah, it was one of those. Um, where they're like, fuck it. We are in three. It was three. We're in control of our dreams, Freddy, and we're going to fight you. Right. I love shit like that. Yeah. I, it was great. It, that's actually really good. So, Dang. So, yeah. so good. Yep. Um, I just... I, I definitely came to a place with horror. Because, like... Again, like the things I've said about it, I'm feeling, feeling like the only honest genre sometimes. But I was afraid of Alien from the Alien series. Mm. I thought it lived in my, uh, like a skylight in a bathroom. Ooh. <laughs> uh, when I was like 10, that's the thing. That that's I, a scary I never, place I was not allowed to watch horror movies when I was very, very, very young. But the great movie ride at Walt Disney World had an alien sequence, and the alien comes over yeah. and like drips yep. on you, like mm -hmm. it spit drips on you, and that, it comes out, and it's like that it was ride, terrifying. That ride was such a, like it Whoa! was like about movies, right? You're like right. going through like these whatever yeah. movies, and like just that one section is like the worst because it's absolute like you're not. I don't know. As a kid, I was never expecting it. I like got on the ride. You see like posters for like. Wizard of Oz or other like old sure. movies and like yeah. it's just like we're gonna go through these scenes of these movies and then the <laughs> fucking alien bit happens and I'm like scared out of my mind I can't open my eyes <laughs> it's terrifying it's terrifying I'm, it's the worst yeah. it's the yeah. worst I don't know why they would do that then, to any kid just like not front load the like hey there's some scary there's bits some scary here stuff. no content warning <laughs> no not at all no content warning <laughs> it's weird. there were none it's weird because like I was not a horror movie person but growing up I loved Alien I loved Aliens I mean Aliens is not horror movie anyway right. in the same way in the same way uh, I loved Alien 3 like I loved the entire same. Alien like trilogy um, and Alien is just a horror movie yes. like, yeah it's just yes. a horror movie absolutely yeah. um, I also loved thrillers and like yeah. like I ate the fuck up any 1990s Morgan Freeman like Kiss the, Kiss girls. the girls yeah <laughs> Bone Collector which yes. is not Morgan Freeman was it that was Denzel Washington uh, and it was two thousands, I think. And Angelina Jolie. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, like that, that style. Yeah, it might be of, like the year two thousand, but I feel like it's yes. okay to kind of yes. lump that in with. Uh, but like that stuff. style of, um, 
like suspense thriller. I yeah, it's loved. like horror adjacent. Even I was to use more that word weirdly. Again. I was more scared of them because they felt more real, right? right. Yeah, it, it I was makes always sense. just more scared of like home invasion than right. a monster. Um, because that could happen any day. Any day, yeah. right now. Yeah. Like even say so, somebody could come in right yes, now. Yes, they could, and that's terrifying. Like it genuinely sucks. terrifying. Yeah, it's Ugh. really scary um, shit. <laughs> uh, but I was gonna say one of the things that happened when I was young was not that young, I guess. When when was this? Let me see. Did I see this in theaters or did I see this in... I saw this when it came out on, on VHS, I think. I went to see... Either went to see it in theaters or saw it at home was Event Horizon without knowing yeah. what it was. Yeah, so and you would like, have been about 12 or 13. 12 or 13, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was either 12 or 13. Because it was right. either when it was in theaters... Or when it came or out when on it video. came out on video. Yeah, which was 97 or 98. I, I imagine yeah. it was theaters because if it was video, I suspect I would have stopped it. Because I would have been like, it was the eyes. Too much. Was it the eyes that did it? Uh, no, it's the skin flaying scene. Oh that yeah, gets to be oh, too much. Oh yeah, that one's um, good. But I have like a fondness for. I didn't enjoy myself at the right. time because I was too young for it and like did not have. You know, yesterday on the podcast, Patrick and I, we, we were all talking about like you need that guidance for board games. You need to, like, yeah. We were saying, I was saying, hey, you need to know what worker placement is to know if you like worker placement games, right. and you need a background in horror to know and like be prepared for Event Horizon to some degree. A little bit, yeah. Um, I did not have it and it was just phew, brutal. Uh, but now, thinking back on it, it's like an experience I'm glad I had because I really came away thinking about horror for the first time in my life and ended yeah. up being able to like okay, other no other movie in my life is going to scar me as much as Event Horizon. <laughs> I can go into horror now. Like I just, I threw me into the deep end of the pool. Right. Sam Neill's creepy as fuck in that movie. Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen it since the late 90s, but it will stay with me yeah. forever. There's some images in that yes. movie that just stick with you. I just going to stick with you. I think I just realized I've only ever seen two movies with Sam Neill in it. Which ones? Jess Bark. Okay. And uh, fucking Thor Ragnarok. Oh, was he in that? I think. Was is that he? Ragnarok? I didn't see. Who is he in it? He's uh, He plays fucking... Wait, was that Ragnarok? Yes, it was Ragnarok. When uh, Thor goes back to Asgard the first time, is that, that play the play that's going on? Oh, he's playing Odin. He's playing Odin in right. the play. Oh, yeah. right, right. Um, oh shit! <laughs> let me see. Oh yeah, my like, god! It's a, yeah. of, it's a bunch of cameos in those roles, right? Yeah, it's uh, Matt Damon as as Thor. Thor, right? One of the other Hemsworth as. Loki? And that makes sense. Oh, is it the other way around? I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. I read about That's this. I didn't see yeah. it. That's bananas. Yeah, it was I really good. I didn't realize that was it. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, some other good Sam Neill movies before we... Uh, before well, Event we... Horizon. Event Horizon, one. Um, uh, I really like, even though I don't know that it's necessarily g good, uh, In the Mouth of Madness, uh, mm. which is the second of the three Darkness trilogy Hunt for the Wilder People? Um, uh, I haven't seen that, but it's the second of the three are saying that, or, yeah, that's Apocalypse thing. Trilogy movies know, was by John Carpenter. So it's oh, like, oh yeah, it's The Thing, it's In the uh, Mouth of Prince Madness, of, and Prince of Darkness. Darkness. Yeah. Darkness. Which, which, is I which, I, which I haven't seen again in like since my freshman year of college, oh. and I remember loving Prince of Darkness. Prince of Darkness has just like the dopest setup of just a professor and all of his like research assistants, best students. his best grad students, find a computer, is it a computer? Is it like a big, s in my mind it's like a big server, but it's probably not a big, is it just a vault? Is it just, a, or like a uh, sarcophagus? It, there's definitely a bunch of tubes and That's green shit. In, in my mind it has a technological, Yeah. or at least like a, like like, a reanimator style. Because they're physics students. They're right, they're science students. Yeah, yes, yeah, they're yeah, physics yeah. students, you're right. Biotech? Um, it's like it a has weird... like a biotech vibe, yeah, let me see. It's a mysterious cylinder. Yes, the, there's Wikipedia. like weird green shit <laughs> yes. happening. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, the movie's called Prince of Darkness. I'll let you figure out what's inside that. I cylinder. think that's the scariest John Carpenter movie. <laughs> really? By a okay. lot. Okay. okay. With like, what's his face? With uh, what's his face? The in the bug people. What's his face in the bug people? Alice Love Cooper. Them. Alice They're Cooper. So it has a cameo oh, as like right. the chief bug person. Yes. He's just like, Meh. I thought we were talking bugs. about the fly again. Oh, it's so yeah. good. Like, <laughs> so Jeff is back. Jeff, Jeff. Mr. Jeff. Jeff. Mr. Jeff. Uh, uh, other good Sam Neill movies. Oh, uh, uh, so uh, uh, Hunt for Red October is really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yes. like a classic. Yes, that is a classic. It's good. Um, what else? I know these by name, but I've never watched any of them. 
have you yeah. seen Bicentennial Man? Thank oh, you. shit, he's Thank in you. that? Apparently he's in Bicenten- Bicentennial Man. I did Man. see that at some point in my life. Did you see... Oh, Jurassic... Wait, he's in the third one, isn't he? Yeah, he's in the Jurassic yeah. Oh, right, I, wa- I forgot one. about the third one. Yeah, okay, so bad. three. It's so bad. I feel like everybody's bad, 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 forgotten four. about it. Well, the third four Jurassic Samuel Park movies. Park. Yeah. <laughs> Getting there. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I actually uh, think Lost World is all right. I'm I'm one of those people it. with that opinion that like I don't think Lost World is bad. I won't, I wouldn't even try to take that from you because like I like uh, what's his face dinosaurs. So. dinosaurs. Yeah, you like Jeff Goldblum. Love Jeff dinosaurs. Goldblum. Like and he I, just hands and like Julianne Moore is actually good in that. Yeah, I wish that he was still a little bit. I think that they changed Ian Malcolm a lot as a character for that movie. Oh, they did. I get why they did that because like there's a difference between him as a lead and him as like a supporting character where he gets to just be he gets to be sexy and doing his ab and, thing and hammy and weird and yeah. like and, <laughs> and like yeah hammy sexy yeah. ab like Sammy. ham it up oh um he just really loves ham hammy. um <laughs> <laughs> you know, like ham. in in the first movie he's the one who was just like constantly poking holes through everything yeah. and in the second one it's he can't be that because he's the lead you know right. um Try to see if there's any other movies you may have seen. The Horse Whisperer? <laughs> no. Can't say I have. Damn. Was anybody in what? here a horse kid? I need to know. Um, I briefly rode horses. No. no. How, yeah. How, how briefly? <laughs> um, I couldn't afford it anymore, so I had Hell to Hell yeah. Stop. Yeah. But I love horses. You're a, ho- you're I a horse I was in a horse person. girl, though. Oh, okay, okay. I wanted to be desperately a horse girl. Gotcha. But... No. I don't got that kind of money. I mean, yeah. I've horse known, horse I've known horse. like, horse girls who didn't actually ride horses. They were just, like, obsessed with horses. Yeah. You know, like, gotcha. drew horses in their that nose. Yeah, looks. that's different. Like, okay, I so had to be close girl. to the thing to love it. I see. Oh, anyway, <laughs> it wasn't you. Like, you needed to have a horse in your life. Or you weren't going to, to be, be a, a horse, horse girl. girl. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I understand. Right. But I, I really wanted to be it. I get you. But yeah. as soon as I had to stop taking riding lessons, I just, I put my helmet away. Right. Put my little pony away. Gotcha. I still have a, a a pony figurine in my apartment. Hmm. A, a memory. A memory of horse a girl. Memorial. Mm. That horse should be girl a. There was a sound like there was uh, someone died. Someone did die. Horse girl inside me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for your loss. So. I guess. Yeah, um, it was a loss. <laughs> I have a question that I just thought of. What was everyone's first rated R movie? Uh, I remember I mine vividly for a very specific reason, but I think I do too. But I have to double check to see if this is actually. An I remember movie. this being a thing, and I remember it being really excited to see my first rated R movie when I was like ten or something. But I don't remember what it was at this point. I watched so many oh, rated R movies. Speed. It was probably Speed. Speed. Really? Because I was ten, and my mom supported how hot I thought Keanu Reeves was. <laughs> because I thought he was so hot, and I bought a prop. Again, this is a Disney World memory, MGM Studios, now called Hollywood Studios. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, there was a store at MGM called Sid Cuyahoga's Memorabilia, and they had things like signed photos and props. Right. You could buy right. like props from movies. That's very cool. I bought uh, for ten dollars a, pr- a bus schedule that is used as a prop in the movie Speed, and I remember my cousin was like, "Sandra Bullock touched this, and she touched him, so it's almost like he touched this." <laughs> <laughs> and that, there you go. Nice. There you go. Okay. I'm going to stop. Uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Nice. I was seven, probably. It was on VHS. I remember this because my mom was furious with my grandmother for letting me see it. She was <laughs> so fucking mad. She's <laughs> still mad about it. Like, it, it still comes up in time. I know this because my mom, once a, four, five times a year, will bring this up. <laughs> and how mad she was. And she, and still. She, she was very much someone who was like... <laughs> I would have been okay if it was a movie that had like sex stuff in it, but it had violence in it, and Aww. I'm opposed to violence. Aww. And so, she loves that movie though. That's the other yeah. thing. Her yeah, mom yeah. fucking loves it's a great T2, movie. loves yeah. Terminator One, loves Terminator Two. Thinks Sarah Connor is dope. Like obviously relates to that. Like we would, uh, you know, five years later or six years later when I was eleven or twelve, and she was like, "All right, now you're old enough to watch this again." And I was like, "I've seen it four times." I, res- <laughs> I respect your mom's me decision. Too. Me too. Like, me too. Well, I didn't at the time because what I didn't say was like, you "Grandma, were a kid. can I watch it?" Oh, I was a kid. Yeah. Okay, so there's like there's extenuating circumstances sure. here, which are <laughs> which is I think that that fight is really about something else. Like not to psychoanalyze my own mother, but <laughs> she had had brain surgery that year, so yeah. I had an arterial venous malformation when I was six or like 1991, 1992. Yeah. Arterial venous malformation is like 
a bunch, all of your arteries and veins, not all of them, but in a particular part of your brain, are like brah, like together, really tight. And really tight and like tangled and causing seizures and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so you have to get that cut the fuck out. At the time it was really uh, experimental surgery, and so there was a really long. Um, I mean, she could have died, which is like, yeah. you Terrifying. know, the first horror movie I had was I was six, and I was like, all right, I have to let you know they're gonna put me under, and I might not wake up. So that was the first oh, horror movie God. I had. Um, but the there was a really long path to recovery in which you had to be taken care of very carefully, and you could either like be an inpatient or whatever, or you could like go live with someone who would take care of you. And so we moved from Jersey back to Pennsylvania, where my mom's family was, of like, which is like northeastern, like Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and so we moved in with my grandmother and my grandfather, and at the time my aunt and my aunt lived there. My uncle Chris lived there. He was like, my uncle Chris was like, I mean, if I was if I was eight, he was. 12, I was seven, he was 12. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And my cousin those, Adam, yeah, yeah. who's the same age as me, was there. So, my uncle Chris, my cousin Adam, were going to watch Terminator 2. And it was like, well, my mom doesn't let me watch R-rated movies. And my grandmother had to make this judgment call, which was like, do I tell... On Judgment Day. On Judgment Day. Yeah. Do I tell Austin, no, go wait in the other room, oh. while his uncle and his cousin who are like his best friends here so we moved like for six months yeah. like go wait in this other room while they watch this movie together or do I say like, no it's fine watch this movie with your cousins I, I respect that too so yeah. but I think that that's the heart of that conflict right yeah. is that yeah. my mother at the time was like asleep upstairs right. in recovery mode because yeah. that's like what her six months of life were like and she yeah. probably had some control stuff over that 100%. like losing control over your son's yeah, you know life course. in some exactly. ways totally you know, yeah. 100% yeah. like that's that's a whole big thing yeah. and like getting that back and eventually like getting back control over her own life and being able to like determine her own schedule and stuff is a big deal so I can imagine that still being a sticking point largely for that reason of like needing to have offloaded that responsibility yeah. and that and that like possession and ownership and and control is like a tough thing to oh, do yeah. so so but especially if you were so young at this so time. this is why i remember yeah. that my first r rated movie was terminator yeah. 2 what Did was everybody else's you said you had a, a very clear yeah one. um well the reason is because it was the matrix mm -hmm. and it was um, I got it from the library. Mm -hmm. My parents were super strict about, like, I did not see a PG-13 movie until I was literally 13. 13. Oh, wow. Um, and they were not, and like, and I think this, th I was I was actually 12 when this happened. So this, I saw an R-rated movie before I saw a PG-13 movie because huh. uh, I didn't know this was the case, but they don't care at the library when you're checking out DVDs huh. <laughs> or, or VHSs what age you are and what the rating is. Interesting. Uh, so, like, I was like, I really want this movie, Mom. Like, please let me. And she's like, didn't look at it at all. She's like, I mean, if they let you get it, go ahead. And so I go up and, like, right. check it out. And I'm like, great. And then my mom's just like, yeah, they let you get it. Obviously, that must be okay. Um, I also, uh, speaking of things that are maybe not age appropriate, like, a year after read all of the uh, Hannibal Lecter books oh, as they wow. had the, at that library. And it was, right, like, sure. very intense. But, um... Yeah, they don't they don't check for those things apparently. Damn. Yeah. Wow. I think mine was the Titanic. Is that rated R? There's no way. PG thirteen. There's a lot of sex in that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> there's that hand. There's yeah. that hand. <laughs> there's that <laughs> hand. <laughs> but that Steam was also. Hand. I was like, yo, there's Steam fucking. Hand. That was also like a grandma's <laughs> house oh movie that right. like. Yeah. Yeah. My mom did not know. Me and my brother, my my grandma, my great grandma, like basically were our babysitters mm -hmm. forever. And so every time my mom, my mom and my dad were working, we go to my grandma and my great grandma's house. And <laughs> the only movie they had was Titanic on VHS. So me and my brother would just like at, from a very young age. <laughs> watched the Titanic like every time we went to grandma's house <laughs> and that shit was weird now that I think about it like that's a weird movie to just like sit and be young and watch while your grandma well I don't know that's weird did anyway. y'all fast forward through that part because that was how my parents did it was like we're gonna no, watch this as a family my grandma, 
No, it was absolutely. They knew when it was coming. It was like, okay, no, don't look, don't look. Okay, we're good. My grandma probably went to like the 99 cent store, picked up like three movies. Right. And my my grandma don't speak English. Well, my great grandma doesn't speak English, and my grandma does, but um, not super well. And so they probably just picked up their like Titanic. Heard it's good. Like throw it in the bag. Like I forget what other two movies they grabbed. Right. Yeah, but it's um, it's historical. <laughs> yeah, so that's just what we would watch at my grandma's house. I know? definitely um, mentioning the grandma's house thing. I definitely saw a rated R movie way before uh, oh. um, Speed, and what it was, was it? Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like four. Okay. It was the year it, it came out on VHS. It was 1988, and I was like that's four a, fucking years old. Okay, that's young. And I distinctly remember the actual scary part of that. That movie is so stupid; it's not it's scary, such except a goofy. for one scene where one of the clowns actually tries to lure out a little girl from like. Right. There's one scary right, right, scene, right. and Oof. I remember that scene distinctly from being a little kid. And I think I ran out of the room. Like I, I definitely was like, ah! <laughs> right, <laughs> like just right. bolted yeah. out of the room. Was like, mom. <laughs> and sat on her lap for like the rest of the evening. So I was just like, I don't like clowns. Anywhere. Yeah, clowns suck. Oh. All right, with that, I think we should take a quick break and I'm gonna get coffee and get ready to do some uh, Tactical Tuesday, XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. So we'll be right back. Thanks for hanging out with us while I got, you know, talked to you about R-rated movies and got excited <laughs> about... Uh, Super Mario. So about no Super, Man's Mario. Sky. Uh, no yeah. Man's, Super Mario and No Man's Sky. Super Mario coming to No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky next comes out next week, starring Super Mario, Luigi, and and Bonasaur. Is the Toad in there? <laughs> no Toad. No Toad. Uh, okay. He has an exclusive deal with Nintendo. Right. Not right. like Mario, who's like a free agent. He can go anywhere he wants. Yeah, but... Mario <laughs> makes the money for them. He can do what he wants. What was that? Why did you say it like it was a sex thing? <laughs> well, I mean, isn't it? Mario can go wherever yeah, he You wants. see this guy? I do, you know, he's in Jason X. You so. know it's a sex thing. You know, he's having fun. I'm gonna go get <laughs> yeah. coffee. Bye bye. I'll be right back. <laughs> Peace.